Hi, friends. Happy Friday. I am so happy that it's Friday. I have been dealing with a sinus infection all week. The pressure is finally gone today. I'm feeling a lot better, uh, but I'm glad to be better for this beautiful weekend we're about to have here in Michigan. So happy Friday, everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah Chantella McGuire. I am with Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this week, all week long, I've been talking about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is three weeks, I think three weeks from Sunday. So I talk about the holidays a little bit early just to get you prepared, get your crafts made, your cards made, your gifts ordered, all the things. So we're talking about Mother's Day this week and we're wrapping it up today. Actually, tomorrow, I'm part of a blog hop tomorrow. So we're wrapping it up tomorrow, but I'm live here today to show you a card I made with the flowering tulips bundle. And it's so pretty. We're going to talk about that in one second. Did you do free shipping yesterday? That was exciting. Stampin' Up! announced that to us. And they only gave me a, like a day or two notice. And I was so excited. I got my free shipping. I really wish they had seal back in stock. Because I'm running dangerously low on seal. So we might be using some other adhesives today. Um, but I got in on free shipping. If you did, tell me in the comments, what did you get with your free shipping? Um, and then we also still have the last chance product event going on. I'm trying to find the video as I talk to you so I can see all your lovely comments. Um, the last chance product sale goes on until May 2nd at 1159 Mountain Time. So there's lots of stuff that's sold out. Um, some of this stuff, I don't think I'm using anything today that is retiring. I don't think. Uh, but lots of stuff still left, still available, but it will be gone May 3rd because the new catalog launches May 3rd. Speaking of the new catalog, if you need a new catalog and you don't currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be more than happy to send you a free catalog. So just fill out the form in the description of this video and I will get one out to you this weekend. Um, and hi, if you're watching a replay and hi, if you're watching on YouTube, I do post my Friday lives on YouTube every Friday. So hello to all the people. Without further ado though, let me turn off my camera, flip you around, and we're gonna get started on our beautiful Mother's Day project. Yes, I can't talk and do this at the same time or I'm gonna mess something up. So sorry, it's gonna be quiet for a second, but I'm still here. I'm just trying to get everything going. There, there's my desk there. Ooh, hitting the camera. There's the project. And this is the bundle. And my grid paper is a little messy because I made you a card. There will be a video Monday using these pretty colors. But we're just going to go with it. It's fine. So I'm using the Flowering Tulips Photopolymer Stamps. That this is an 18 set stamp. 18 stamps are in the set is what I'm trying to say. And it is photopolymer. So it does stain a little bit when you use things like reds. But that's okay. That's a good quality photopolymer. I'm also going to be using the tulips that tulips dies. I have already pre die cut everything out. Um, I do have a video on my YouTube channel how to use all of these complicated looking dies. I will say before we get started, this is a little bit more of an advanced card. So if you're not into die cutting yet, you can still do this card without the tulips. This is a little bit more um, for the avid crafter. I do have this lovely sheet that I made, and this is what I do with my more complicated die sets is I lay everything out so I know exactly what's going to look like what. And actually, in this card, there's an oopsie. That is upside down. But I liked it, so I kept it, and that one's a little crooked. But you know what? It's a handmade card, you guys. It's supposed to not be perfect. If you want perfect, go to Hallmark. It's not going to be perfect. So we are basically just going to put this card together and I have to look at my notes so I can tell you the measurement. If you join my VIP group, you get a PDF every Sunday of the card I'm doing. Um, I don't do that here. I just kind of rattle them off. So for this card, we're going to start with a Poppy Parade base that is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Whoops, and I keep hitting my phone and shaking you everywhere. I'm just going to score that with my bone folder so I get a nice crisp edge. Set that aside. And then I've embossed 
a piece of basic white that is five and a quarter by four with the gingham embossing fold. And I have that right here to show you. Well, I have it near here. There it is. So this is just a regular, it's not a 3D folder, but it is beautiful. Makes that lovely pattern. I can bring this up closer so you can see. Makes that beautiful pattern. So I have that there. And then next, I have a little piece of Poppy Parade. And that measures three by two inches. And then I have a piece of the Flowering Fields, Flowering Fields <laughs> Designer Series paper. And this measures two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So it's just an eighth of an inch smaller. And then, oh, I have a piece of Poppy Parade for my sentiments. And that is three quarters by two and three quarters. And then I have a piece of uh, basic white that is a half inch by two and a half. And that's really all the stamping we're going to be doing uh, for this card is the sentiment. So I've already die cut my pieces. I have two stems. I have a leaf. I used petal pink for the insides of the flowers and then poppy parade for the outside. So let me grab that sheet again and show you which ones I die cut. So I die cut one of those, one of those, one of those, and one of those. And we're just basically just gonna put them together. So if you look, I hope you can see this, there's a little score line right there. We're just going to fold that score line over. And that is one of the flowers. And this one, I think, yeah, fits in there. So I'm going to try to not put it backwards this time. And this one has two score lines, one here, one here. We're going to fold that over. And it looks like that. And we're going to put that guy in there but I need a little bit of glue. So I'm gonna use glue dots, I think, for this. I only need two, so I'm just gonna tear that off because I don't like having the whole roll of glue dots out. And I'm just gonna grab this petal pink one, stick a glue dot to the back. Oh, don't stick it down there. I just kind of made it flush with that side. Yep, that looks, is that upside down? No, that's right. Sorry, actually, I need more than that. So I'm going to grab another glue dot with the paper piercer from the Take Your Pick tool to close these flaps. Put it right on there. Close it. Peel that one off. Stick it oh, about there. It's good enough. Close that one. So there's one tulip done. And then this one. Stick that to the back. Before I stick it down, sorry, I know you probably can't see that. I just want to see. Oops, I accidentally stuck it there. I just want to see how it's supposed to go. I think like that. Yes. Maybe down a little there. And now it's in there the correct way <laughs> and not upside down and goofy looking. I'm just going to stick a glue dot there. Hi, Kathy. Oh, she's so happy I'm showing this set. I love this set. Like I said, though, it is a little bit more for the advanced crafter, but you know what? And this just doesn't look right to me. What did I do wrong here? I think I moved this. And then that, I didn't fold that in the right spot. It goes like that. That's why it doesn't look. I'm like, that does not look right. It's a little bit more complicated, but sometimes I really like the complicated cards. So now while I'm thinking about it, we'll do our little bit of stamping. And there's this really pretty Happy Mother's Day stamp um, in there. And these um, tulips, you could also stamp the tulips if you didn't want to die cut. You could definitely do that instead. Um, there are dies, though, that cut these out. I love die cutting. I That's my favorite thing. It's my favorite, like, I guess, technique. I just love doing it. I'm going to use an H block. It's a little bit big for this stamp, but... I don't, I could use um, the G block, but it's just cutting it a little bit close. And then what I like to do too with some of these 
is line it up on my grid paper because they are bendy. So if you bend it or move it, it might get crooked. Oh, that's a little crooked too. Try again. That looks good. That's better. Okay. And I'm going to grab my Poppy Parade ink, which is somewhere right here. Hello, Catherine. She said it didn't look right to her either. I know. I was like, what is wrong with this? That's not looking correct. Hi, Mary Lou. Thanks for saying that. She said, I'm glad she's glad I'm feeling better. And Cat's at work and sneaking a peek. Don't get caught, Cat. So I'm just going to stamp this. I line up my grid paper, stamp in the middle, and hopefully, yep, yeah, perfect. Came out good to me. The little imperfections on the handmade cards are some of my favorite things, but sometimes it just, if it doesn't look right, you got to fix it. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my Seal Plus because I have a ton of Seal Plus. I'm almost out of Seal. So I'm just going to take some of this and stick down my Desire Series paper. And then we can put this on our embossed piece. Work does get in the way of crafting, Kathy. I agree with that. I am almost done with preschool, though, in a couple more weeks. So I'll have a little bit more time. I'm just sticking that there. And now let's put our um, flowers together. So I, am, I didn't do it on this one, but I wanted to show you the adhesive sheet. When I die cut this out, I use a bit of an adhesive sheet, and they come in these massive sheets. And I just kind of cut it down and put it on my cardstock, and it makes this so easy. But I'll show you the other way, too, with Tombow glue. And it almost makes whatever you're using um, like a sticker. So I have my Tombow liquid glue. And we're just going to... I don't want to squeeze too hard and get a big glob, so I'm just going to run a little bit along there and this does dry clear so if you mess up and you get it on like your white paper it usually is fine it dries clear i'm trying to pick this up without touching it i cut my nails the other night so now i have no nails i'm just going to place that one up slightly higher Oop. and it does take a second to dry so what i like to do sometimes is i'll just take one of my clear blocks while i'm working with other things pop it on there. So now we can put our um, sentiment on our Poppy Parade. A little bit more of that glue. And I like to put the cap on my glue too. I've had, um, especially with full bottles, it sometimes will leak out the, of the end if you just leave it sitting. I don't like doing that anymore. I do like that it doesn't dry immediately. So you get a little bit of wiggle room. You get a little bit of time to move things around, get them centered. And now I just need a couple of dimensionals. Pop one on the back of that. One on the back of that. And then I did not use one for the leaf. I just to check and see what I did for the leaf. So that should be dry now. And put that one there, I think. I like to see where they're going to go before I want to flip them. Hmm, no. Actually, you know what? I think I used different tulips for the other card, but oh, it's fine. It's Friday. This is just what happens sometimes, and this is how this is going to look, and it's fine. I put a little glue on the back of my leaf, and I'm going to kind of Tuck it. Do I want it to go this way or this way? What way do I want it to go? I had the, on this original card, I had like the fatter end up. But I kind of like it with the skinny end. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it right on the stem because we're going to be hiding these stems. So I want it to all kind of go together. I have some of the Evening Evergreen Window Pane Check Ribbon. And that's what we're going to be using to cover this up. And I'm just going to cut enough to wrap a little bit around the back. 
put that away before my cat finds it. And I have ribbon all over. And I'm just going to grab some scotch tape. And I stick it to one end. See where I want it to go. Try to do this so you can see it. And then I just wrap it around. And there, that hides the little stems. And sometimes you might have to maneuver it a little bit. And also what I like to do, because we are putting a sentiment there, um, you can take a glue dot just to stick that ribbon down. Um, you don't want to do it with the thinner ribbons like this one because the glue dot might show through. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I can definitely see that glue dot. I don't know if you can, but it's right there and there's a little circle. So I don't like doing it on sheer ribbons and stuff where you can see the glue dot. And take a couple of dimensionals. Catherine says it's her favorite ribbon right now. I know mine too. Oh, thank you, Kathy. It's a gorgeous card. And then I'm just going to stick this. I don't want to cover the whole ribbon, but I do. Like, I just want little, little peeking out. Take a little peek. So the last thing we're going to do, if I can grab them, they're right next to me, but I don't know where they are. Hold on. Here, found them. We're going to add some brushed brass butterflies. Oops, and one just fell off. I'm going to take my paper piercer again. I'm just going to add oh, three or so. These are my favorite embellishment right now. These are so pretty and add such, like, to me, such a wow. They're shiny, and there's two sizes of them. There's a large and a small. I'm going to do two small ones and a large one. Put one, I think, in the middle there. I like, I love these things. They're so pretty. And then I'll use my regular seal. Because I don't like using Seal Plus on embossed um, cardstock. I feel like it rips it. And that flower is coming off a little bit. But I think it should be okay to go in an envelope. It hangs over maybe an eighth of an inch. But I think it would be okay. And then I'm just going to take another piece of basic white. That is five and a quarter by four. For the inside of my card, you definitely could write on that poppy parade. I don't like to. I like the words that I write to really stand out. So I always put a piece of basic white in. And that is today's card. Let me bring in the original and show you. Yeah, I definitely, I think I used a different um, flower there. I don't know which one, though. It might have been that one. No. Yeah, it was that one. I used this piece on there. Oh, well. They're a little bit different. I never make the same card twice anyways. So this is our Friday Facebook Live project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be live again Sunday in my VIP group with a really fun, I'm really excited for this, <laughs> really fun project for you guys. So if you're not in the VIP group, click the um, join button in the or join link in the description of this video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.